Hi, my name is Lubomir Vtachnik, I come from Slovakia and uh, I hope that at least some of you who have opened this DVD have been dealing with my work on uh, Scheven England that I have produced for uh, Chess Base. Uh, it's uh, a big DVD dealing with one of the one form of the very popular uh, or the most popular opening in the world, uh, Sicilian defense. Uh, Scheven England is to me uh, the center uh, core of the whole uh, Sicilian family and uh, the problem with the, uh, my DVD, my former DVD, is at a time we had no chance to present also very important part of the uh, uh, opening and that is the a tactical uh, content or tactical motifs that are uh, appearing in uh, uh, this scheme. Of course everybody knows that uh, for the uh, study of proper study of the opening it's not sufficient to learn only about the lines. You have to understand a little bit and uh, also you have to know what uh, kind of typical endings but not only endings but also what is the typical tactics in the structure that you are studying and you are uh, trying to master and that you will be playing in the future. Uh, that's why uh, this DVD that is presenting uh, quite a few examples of a very typical motifs and beautiful motifs in Sicilian. Uh, Sicilian Scheveningen uh, is very uh, rich opening and also very tactical opening because by definition if White plays open Sicilian he has to go into attack and uh, Black uh, is trying to survive. There is always uh, a lot of tension on the board and uh, Black is never without chances. This is the reason why the Sicilian is so popular. Uh, there are typical examples or typical motifs that are repeating itself and I would like to present uh, some of them uh, in this introduction. Uh, one of the most common problems for Black is uh, when his uh, king becomes strangled in the center. We can see on the board that there is a, a position where Black was not able uh, to castle and White is pre prepared to do some damage to him. In the game Beskarov Bocharov, White played bishop g5, which is a very unpleasant move because not only f6 is under fire, but also uh, the square h7 with a pawn uh, is uh, in danger. Uh, Black didn't manage to find the best defense, which was rook h8, and he played bishop g7. And now it's typical that White can take on g6, and in case of uh, this is very interesting. In case of f takes g5, he plays queen h6, and black has enormous problems what to do with his uh, rook, because if he plays rook g6, then queen h7 wins. If he goes king f8, then simple uh, g takes h7, and promotion of the pawn on h8 will decide the game. So that would be too easy. But after f takes g6, black takes, from um, black took on g6, and now white plays bishop g4, uh, putting even more pressure on uh, the black king, and after bishop g4, uh, black position will collapse because all white pieces, if you look closely, uh, queen, two bishops and all the rooks are in ideal locations and black will not be able to survive uh, uh, this position. Uh, we have many examples of uh, this kind and of the structure. This is uh, uh, indirectly a warning for black. I mean, please be careful and try to uh, not only survive the opening phase, but try to uh, put your king uh, into relative safety, because if it remains in the center, it's always a big problem for the defender.